Okay, so now we're going to begin to repair the wrinkles on his face. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the zoom tool and I'm going to slide to the right. And I want to zoom in on these wrinkles here. We're going to go over to the tools that we use for retouching. And you'll see a Band-Aid uh, for the spot healing. We're looking for one called the Healing Brush. I'm going to hold on to that. And like the uh, Clone Stamp Tool, the Healing Brush wants you to select a place for it to work from. And if you don't do that, it's going to give you that message that says Option Click to Define Source. So I'm going to hit the Option key, and I'm going to say I want to use this area up here. So I'm going to just tap where that is. And now I'm going to go to a new spot, and I'm going to kind of brush over it. But it's not cloning the skin. It's kind of blending the skin, repairing the skin. So you can't even see where that was from. Now, I don't like cloning. Uh, unlike cloning, excuse me, I don't. it's not moving the cursor. It's going to stay in that same spot that it was at before. And so I can kind of continue using that as clean skin. I can even try it here. And again, it doesn't move from the spot it was at before. So I've kind of cleaned up the forehead very nicely. And now I'm going to scroll down on my picture, and I want to go into some of these. But I wouldn't recommend using uh, the healing brush here. We're going to use a different tool. We're going to recommend the patch tool. And if you want to experiment and try both, you'll see why. But the patch tool works differently. We're going to, like a selection tool, we're going to make a little selection around an area. So I'm going around this little wrinkle. I'm going kind of loosely. And this time I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to pull it into an area. And you see when I pull it, I see what I'm going to be copying. So I want to go to some clean skin, and I just drop it. And when I do that, it clean that wrinkle. It's gone. That's before. Oh, let's see. Before, and then this is after. All right? So let's continue here. We'll get a little bit more here, this wrinkle. And... I want to bring it to some clean skin, and when I come back, it's gone. Let me grab this. And that's looking great, and I can continue around this side, as you see. And as you see fit, you're going to decide what doesn't belong or doesn't belong. If you don't like that little uh, birthmark there, you can get rid of it. But if you think it's appropriate, you can leave it. Take it out. Now, so he doesn't start to look fake. We want to take all these repairs that we did here, and we want to make them look a little bit more natural. But if we were to look now before and after, this is where we started. You see all of that. And we go here to the after, and we can see where he's at. We're using the history panel here. And uh, if you want to know how that opens, the history panel, you see this little tab, you click on it, and you want to close it, you hit the double-headed double arrow. So that's your history tab here. And you get to see all kinds of stuff that's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show you one last thing. If I worry that maybe he looks unnatural, and this is something that I recommend using, we can use the history brush. And the history brush allows you to go back to the original picture. But we don't want to go back to it completely. So uh, if it's set to 100, whatever it's set to 50, bring it down to about 20. We only want about 20% of the original to come through. Now I'm going to go around the eyes here, around this eye a little bit. Now you get a little bit of the wrinkles without being overwhelming. Bring a little bit of that, a little subtle. And look, I'll show you the difference between before the history brush you can see the difference, and then after. So we gave them a little wrinkles, but when we compare it to the beginning picture, there's the beginning, and then here's the end. He really looks more natural. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed how that works out. Practice, that's how you'll get better.